So Joey and I, fresh off the street, we walked into this Mexican Colombian fusion restaurant. The the food was amazing, and they were they were playing this amazing music. It was uh, traditional Colombian music, just real old school Latino music that you can only really find in Colombia. Yeah, take a listen. So I get the mole. Ooh, gracias. Some sauce. Joe, what'd you get? Got, uh, you got some white ass pussy, Joe? Yeah. Pork uh, cooked in banana leaves for like six hours. Pork cooked in banana leaves for six hours. So we're uh, we're right under this big as if you can't hear me. That's what it is. So uh, this situation with the music, wet ass pussy, this is something. <laughs> that I've experienced in quite a few cafes since I've been to Colombia, all right? And what happens is you get a hip cafe, a hip restaurant, and they wanna show that they're they're playing English-speaking music from a foreign country. Wow, they must be fancy and special, and maybe they attract gringos, and oh man, you must need like gringo-type money to uh, eat in that place. So they blast American music, right? Just blast it. Here's the thing, no one understands it. No, that people will be sitting there listening. To, I, I see people listening to English music all the time down here, American music, but they don't understand it. So they don't bleep out any of the swear words. So you can be in a cafe and there's a mother and her and her husband and they got two kids running around and there's an old man in there and he's like, Hola, como estas? Que tal? Hey, Anifa. Hey, como estas? Hermosa. And just being friendly with the people. There's a hipster working on his laptop and all you hear through the speakers is, My neck, my back, lick my pussy and my crack. Hola, Anifa. Lick it right, lick it good, lick this pussy just like you should. And that's just, and you'll just sit there and go, Am I the only... I am the only one that knows that we're just eating, uh, uh, we're eating tortas and, and drinking coffee to, to, to the musical stylings of wet ass pussy. <laughs> Take a bite. What's the verdict? It's actually chocolate on there, which is exactly what I went for. I had, uh, black bean. What's that? What is this? I think it's black bean puree. Black bean puree. What's that one? And then the salsa. Salsa. Tomato based salsa. Salsa verde. Pingo de gallo. Shaking his head. What is Joey Bliss? Good. Good? Needs a little dry. Though. Needs a little dry. Good. I'm gonna be honest with you. Chocolate chicken is different. It is um, it's not what I was expecting, but it's good. It's definitely good, baby. I'm in love with the sauces, man. It made, when I get to add stuff, it makes me feel like I contributed to the food that I'm eating. When I didn't, I didn't do shit. This amazing cook did all the shit. I didn't do a fucking thing. The bean sauce is on point. I'll tell you, man, when I get back to the US, I am starting a, a deep fried chocolate chicken stand. Would you motherfucker steal my idea? Deep fried chicken, and you dunk it in chocolate, melt the chocolate. Whoa. Fry the chicken in chocolate. Good. Nah. 
Should have gone with the mole, baby. After filling up, Joe and I decided it was back to the streets to explore more of the city. I really just wish we went to this fucking burger place, dude. It wasn't set up when we came through, though. From here on out, I'm all about street food. I just got a nice kitty, kitty thug life shirt. Ready? God damn, that looks good. That looks tasty as fuck. So here's a hamburger thing, just a straight patty. Looks like it's put up. Nice to see dudes still walking around with boom boxes. What's up? <laughs> this guy's going to town on each other. Oh! <laughs> really? Please don't shit on me, dude. Ass right in my face. <laughs> He's eating my heart. <laughs> oh, here you are. <laughs> no, it's my backpack, dude. Don't eat my beard. Oh, oh! No, I'm not kissing. No, I'm not, dude. I don't like you like that, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he likes this thing. Oh, that's my ring. <laughs> Likes that, huh? That's what it is, buddy. That's all you're gonna do, man. That's the way little birds hot. You just give them a neck rub. Give them a neck rub, and they pass right out. And they, and they nibble on your neck again. He's not gonna eat my beard. <laughs> He did a strong fight. <laughs> oh. What's that? No, it's all right. It's bien, bien. <laughs> no, no. Hola. Guys, let me go. What's up, guys? 
How you doing? All right, I'm gonna go put this dog in my shoulder, dude. These guys playing dominoes in the street? like sorry but with dice dude that fucking when he bit me that fucking hurt dude yeah Dude, that bit. <laughs> I didn't want to I'd keep my camera low because these are people's homes, but <laughs> one of them had was playing uh, Christopher Titus on TV. <laughs> Is it like they just open their, their, their parlors, like their, their bedrooms and shit? They just open the windows, open the front door, and bam, you're in the street, partying, chilling, and hanging out with your, with your friends. It's been so long since I've been in a fucking actual neighborhood because. Dude, Boston doesn't have neighborhoods like this anymore. New York hardly does either. All that shit's been so gentrified, these places don't exist. 
like kids running around the street. You used to see that shit in Boston. I used to see that shit in New York. In some places, you still kind of do like the Bronx, but for the most part, not like this, man. Wait a minute. These girls were in the exact same spot right when I started the trip from the restaurant 10 minutes ago. Now, initially, when I saw them again, I thought, eh, maybe they're working girls. But it's a little early for that. Uh, maybe they're just two beautiful women that just happen to be waiting for someone to come pick them up to meet them. I don't know. Either way, I thought it was funny that I ran into them again because, uh, well, shit, they're smoke shows and they really stuck out. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely the neighborhood spot. Thanks for coming to the channel, guys, and thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And stick around, because there'll be more as we finish up our stay in Cartagena and move up the coast to Santa Marta, Paque, the jungles of Paque, and beaches of Paque, Tyrona. And into the jungles of the Sierra, Sierra, what am I doing? Into the jungles of the Sierra Nevada on our way to the lost city. Thank you again.